Hello and welcome to another um, episode of Musing in the Graveyard about uh, the delightful Taylor Swift. Isn't she wonderful? So Taylor Swift has been very very busy over the past couple of months, particularly the past six weeks. And so what we're going to do now is we're going to do a little chat about keeping up with Taylor at Christmas. And um, it's been a busy Christmas for myself as well. So. If there was a Christmas farm around here, I'd uh, go to that for a video, Christmas video, this Christmas Eve, the 24th of December, 2019. But there are um, plenty of pine trees and conifers here in this uh, wonderful graveyard that I love so much. Um, so, you know, a few massive pine trees, I still feel at home, and I love trees, and I have no problem promoting trees and the Ents. And, you know, 24th of December is a busy night for myself, Rudolph, uh, and all the reindeer, and uh, you know, we're going to be traveling the world tonight. But someone else has been crazy busy uh, this December. It's the birthday girl, Taylor Swift, who's been very, very busy, hasn't she? Uh, she's won loads of awards. Uh, well done for the Billboard Award of Woman of the Decade. And she's also declared war at that event on Scooter Braun, Soros, 23 Capital, Ithaca Holdings, and the Carlisle Group. So, <laughs> she has indeed been busy. But she's also been over here in the UK, where she sang Lover at the final of Strictly Come Dancing, uh, which I believe you call Dancing with the Stars in America. And you're going to be hearing uh, plenty of um, plane noise because everyone's coming home for Christmas. But what else has uh, Taylor, uh, Taylor Swift uh, been doing? She, um, oh yeah, she consulted with her, her lovely cats, uh, Meredith Olivia and Benjamin Swift, whose name she's in the process of trademarking. But she consulted with them um, about whether she should do a Christmas song. And she did, A Christmas Tree Farm, which I, I thought was a great song. And it was good to see uh, young Taylor and uh, learn a bit more about her. Um, and then what else? She's been supporting her fabulous boyfriend, uh, Joe Alwyn, in his acting career. And she's been serenading uh, him with songs from the Lover album, and uh, like London Boy, for example, and the Lover song. Um, and <laughs> did you see? You probably did. Taylor was brilliant in the Late Late Show. No, no. <laughs> I love. I used to love the Late Late Show with Craig Ferguson. <laughs> brilliant in the skeleton, uh, Jeffrey Peterson. And, uh, and in fact, uh, while we're speaking about skeletons, we should uh, a, a little shout out to Mary here, um, here in the uh, grave. Uh, thank you to her uh, kind soul for letting us um, produce these videos with her. Um, but yeah, uh, so she was on the Late Late Show, Taylor Swift, with uh, James Corden. <laughs> and it was really funny. <laughs> she was there promoting her Cats film. <laughs> she, she was all dressed up with everyone, all in cat suits. Um, and James Gordon was dressed up as a cat, like a boss cat. <laughs> it's so funny. Um, and did you see, they had the, um, I'll wait for the plane to go by. And did you see they had this massive um, saucer of milk <laughs> they all got on their, their four legs or their, yeah, their four legs and their paws and they drank out of this saucer of milk and <laughs> Taylor was like an expert. <laughs> Tremendous. <laughs> and they were all in character and um, you had uh, Rebel Wilson. <laughs> she, she was brilliant. Did you see um, when they brought the dog out? <laughs> this cute little dog. <laughs> and then all the um, cat actors that were like, it's a dog and you just saw a um, uh, self, self single transduction in action this poor dog he felt the hate out of these uh, cats <laughs> yeah, poor thing had to flee <laughs> you see all this magic it's real <laughs> uh, and of course let's not forget that on December uh, 13th uh, Taylor turned 30 years old so she has been incredibly incredibly busy and um, so well, Taylor's packed a lot in over the past six uh, weeks, um, and as PewDiePie is uh, going to be taking a break from social media and YouTube during 2020, I don't think Taylor is going to be slowing down. I, I would imagine she'll be gearing up for uh, more and more action. She'll be promoting her Lover Tour, and um, I'm sure she'll be in the background working on getting her songs back from Scooter Braun and Co which is where we come in as Swifties. We can help 
Taylor Swift get her songs back with hashtag Curse Braun because Taylor gets what Taylor wants. So support the hashtag Curse Braun video where the obsessionist black magician casts a curse spell on Scooter Braun and everything that's associated with him like uh, Barchetta, the Ithaca Holdings group, uh, Carlisle group and you'll see this spell working and working and working its way throughout 2020. Yes, confirmation. And the other great thing about this spell is the more that the Swifties watch this video, the more you power the spell, the more powerful it becomes and the more we can uh, enhance the pressure on Scooter to get Taylor's songs back. More people coming home for Christmas. Go wait for them. So, watch the hashtag Curse Grand video today over the Christmas holidays and power up this spell so that we can get Taylor Swift's songs back. Now, Christmas Eve, 24th of December, 2019, busy time for myself, St. Nicholas, and my reindeer, and indeed my, um, my rabbit. I always travel, you know, this isn't in the fairy tales, but I always travel with a, right, a white Arctic rabbit around the world, and rabbit in Russian is Krolik. So I travel around the world with my white rabbit and my reindeer. So, as I visit your homes tonight, um, by the fireplace, a carrot for the rabbit in the reindeer, and chocolate chip cookie would be lovely, and a, a nice beer as well. That would be fantastic. And I hope that you all enjoy the presents stuffed in your stockings this Christmas Eve. I'm St. Nicholas, and see you tonight. From a notion magic. Yeah. So here we've got Swift's Toxic Rift. Taylor Furious' foe buys back catalogue called Scooter Bully over the 240 million deal. Now Beaver, Beyonce, and Adele pick sides. Picking up now. So what's happened? Mm. There we are. There's uh, Taylor. There we go. And we do the Rams Hall with the orb inside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, let's move it over. That's it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we are. That's it. And this time, instead of giving the energy to me, let's give it back to Taylor. There's Taylor. Bing. All smoke. done see by. The smoke. Yeah, yeah, all done by. Yeah, burning. Yeah, it's burning. Yeah, you can see it. Magic, look. What's what are you burning there? His some um, base chakra. Yeah. See, burn hot. I can smell it now. Yeah, that's yeah. it. Just there. Yeah. Magic. Good, eh? You can see the eye. I've got all the holes. Yeah. In the paper, yeah. yeah. Go a bit closer. You should have had a cigarette and blown smoke through the holes. <laughs> See? Oh, yeah.